Hi, I am Deepak. I would like to show you how to create the MongoDB with a lot of millions of records of test data. We need the test data for the testing of the application. As well as sometimes we also need the huge data to test application performance. And to working with the indexes and MongoDB, we need to generate some data. In that case, we don't have any software that is freely available and really handy to use. So instead of the software, we will use the MongoDB shell and your JavaScript to feed the database with the millions of records within a couple of minutes. So let's get started with it. So let's connect to the MongoDB. I have installed the MongoDB on the port 40001. So 4001. So I'm inside the MongoDB shell. I can clear out the screen. It's showing the enterprise version as I installed the enterprise and I'm also uh, enable the replication so it's showing that I, I have connected to the primary instance of the MongoDB. So idea behind is to like working with the MongoDB shell is it comes with the handy JavaScript. It's so we can use the JavaScript inside the MongoDB shell. So let's try if you want to print something here. So we can use the print and it will print the similar to the echo. So let's say testing. Yeah, let's clear it out. Okay, so let's say we will use the test DB just for sake of simplicity. We switch to the test database if, if there is any collection. So let's uh, find any collection into the that database. Yeah, there is an employee collection. So let's clear out the employee collection data. Let's remove all these records as I have a speed with the blank query there as a empty object. Okay, so let's say I have an employee with just a two field as a name and as a department. So we want to create the random or any you know, dummy employees just to feed the database with a lot of use data. So we will use a really simple employee with just a two field. So let's say we have the employee as industry so let's check as the employee and here you go we can see the employee into there yeah so if we want to feed, uh, insert that employee into the employee collection so I have inserted that employee into employee collection let's check it out and there you go yeah right so what we will do, we will write one function name as a feed. So it will take the input as any count to insert the that number of counts into the database. And we will, the logic is that we will uh, look through the that number of counts and create this any employee, random employee and feed into the database. So to start for that, let's say I'm using the simple editor as a VS Code editor and just for provide the some kind of intelligence. So let's say uh, I have opening the okay folder here. Let's create the one file. Let's say feeder dot js. Okay. So let's say I have some uh, reference employee array and department array just to. So just to keep typing really slow and watching you there. So let's say I'm also having the one function as a ran get random. So it's just a simple function to get you the random uh, number within the range. So let's say mean and max. So the idea is that like we will get the random uh, name from this name array and we'll cho choose the random department from this department array and we'll feed that into the database. Okay. So let's start writing the code. Even the uh, latest uh, version of the MongoDB support the ES6, that's the script 6 uh, syntax. So we can use the arrow function into it. Let's say uh, 
I have the feed function so it takes count as input and we will loop through the until count is greater than zero or greater than equal to zero and on each inset we will uh, decrease the count by count minus minus okay here let's uh, we will create the new employee let's say employee object and to get the employee object let's say we will choose a uh, name from name array so we need to get the index and that is a random index from the name array so let's say we will use the get random function to get the that random index but it should be bounded from zero to length of that array so let's say i will say name array of okay uh, get random get random function it will be the range from zero to length of the name array okay it will give us the random department okay uh, uh, sorry random uh, name from the name array let's say department is the same thing as a name array okay get random and from zero to depth array to length okay and this is how uh, we receive the employee now we just need to insert that em into the employee collection so it just intelligence employee dot insert and it will be just a emp okay and now we can call this feed function let's say i want to insert the 100 records and uh, this is done okay now let's move to the shell let's exit from the mongo shell and uh, i'm into the uh, correct path there where i created the file let's check is there a file there uh yeah i can see the feeder file there okay so to execute uh, any file with the mongodb i just uh, need to pass that file at the end of the uh and as an argument file name as an argument at the end let's so feeder and here we go so there seems not be any error so that means i have it uh, executed the feeder.js successfully so let's check the mongodb by connecting it and checking the record there so let's clear it out and check it like is there uh, how many records into the employee dot find and we can say there are uh, records but it's uh, inserted uh, as a undefined sometime so it's because of i think uh, yeah it's uh, because uh, yeah get random is getting us uh, inclusive of the lower that is minimum and maximum while the array work uh, uh, indexing from zero so i need to get the length minus one i guess so to clear it out let's uh, remove everything from here okay so let's open another terminal so just to speed it up and mongo dash dashboard 40001 yes so let's check it out how many records is there is it all good yeah i can say uh, uh, there are really almost 10 record uh it will be one will be the previous one and uh sorry 100 records yeah and uh it's 101 just because of the greater than equal to zero and we're okay it should be taken okay now so let's test it out once more to like uh, remove all the data so let's check it out there is zero record now instead of that let's uh, at the final time let's check it's a thousand record how much time it's needed fit the thousand record so again and here you go it just fit in a second and let's check it out uh, uh, is there a thousand yeah and let's check out how is the record so it gives the 
just only one page at a time so if you want to need more let's type uh, it and we'll give the second page and that's how we can uh, create the database with a lot of data just within write, uh, writing the javascript simple javascript okay i think that's it thank you